Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to another tutorial on Devstar. In this tutorial, we're gonna be taking a preview of PHP in five minutes. Alright, so if you just get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow up for more tutorial. Alright, so let's dive in. So the time has begun. Alright, so I can open up my text editor. I'm using Sublime this place. I'm gonna put it in your file. I'm gonna call this uh, I'm gonna call it hello.php. Alright, so this is it. So to start the PHP file, we need to start it with a PHP tag. So I'm gonna put in the click tag. Alright, so I'm gonna put in the PHP tag. The next one is just let's create a variable. I can create a variable equals to 5. Then I can equal to my variable. Alright, so this should give us this should give us 5. You can see. So a variable can consist of a string also. So this can be a uh, name equals to equals to precious. Alright, sorry. Equals to precious. Then I can do echo name. The same thing run around this uh now we should be seeing that all right so now we should be seeing that so the next thing we're going to do is check float check how to use the float function in it all right so for i can also have uh let me just echo float then i can also have a bowling equals to true our uh, bowling can either be true or false so i can do echo bowl so i can see everything works with this pressure then we have pain and we have one all right so that is that so what we're gonna just we're gonna co comment this out so now let's go to the conditional statement guys if else so i'm gonna do um flip is just like saying y x no sorry y5 is greater than or equals to but the red file uh, is greater than 4 we can do um echo hello i can see that i run that and see what will happen i can see we continue having hello hello hello, hello because y is greater than 4 so i'm just gonna quit this we can use ctrl c to quit that also the same thing now we can also use the variable to i can do x equals to 5 I forgot to make color and then I can come over here and do um, X save. Then when I run this again, uh, yeah, I can see it's still the same thing. Alright, so I'm just gonna comment this again. Alright, so let's do the for loop. So I can do for. So this for accept the first argument that is a variable. So I can say for X equals to 0, then X, what do you want? x to do for x equals to an x is less than let's say greater than no let's say less than 10 then less than or equals to 10 then we can go ahead and increment x x plus plus right so i can go there and echo x right so go back there and run like i can see you have 0 to 10 all right so that is basically i will do the for loop all right so that is simple Alright, so lastly, we are gonna just check out um, check on how to use functions. Then we'll be through with that. So I'm just gonna put in public function that is gonna be uh, what does this name? Then this is not gonna be anything. I'm good. And echo hello. So when I run this, you can see it's in unexpected public. Why? Um, no, yeah, we don't need this public because this is not inside a class, All right? So we can just go back there. All right, so let's save this and try again. Uh, okay, I haven't saved this already, so let me save now and check again. I can see nothing is working. Why? Because we need to call new callback the uh, the function. So we're gonna save this. I can see we have a loop. So we can also pass in some arguments into this. So this is gonna be um name so i can go by there and do hello plus sorry we don't use plus we use and um, dot for uh, to join string together or anything so i can do this and if i should run this we should have an error we saying yes uh, you can see two female arguments zero parts and that is expected one it's expected expecting one so we can go back here 
and just to put a string called precious uh, P R E C I O U S. And I'll go there and I'll run. I can see we have hello precious. All right, so let's come out to this a little bit. So this should work. Uh, and let's call your name. Sorry, we need to add the dot also here. Yeah. So let me run this again. And you can see we have hello precious. Let me run. All right, so this is just copying PHP in your just in just basic five minutes. All right, so this is just a preview of how PHP works. So if you're interested in it, feel free to dive into it. All right, see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.